stay still. This fabulous name is on your glasses. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I may be a bit conceited. One, two, three, your heart start beating. Do room taste my mind inside? I'm screaming. Do I feel love? Hey, everybody. Hello. So, uh, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have something a little bit different for you, but we thought we'd kind of like sneak it into our uh, vlog because, I mean, it's kind of our everyday life. So what we're gonna do is we're actually going out to get some Instagram content because we're a little low. Um, and so while we were, you know, planning on doing this, the thought came to me and I was like, dude, we should just kind of like show people how we go about getting our Instagram content, but not just that, kind of like help a sister out. So like for me personally, I am definitely probably like the heaviest I've ever been in my life. and. I think for some people what's really frustrating is they try really really hard to eat healthy and to like be active like I do but you're still struggle with your weight because of health problems and long story short nobody needs to feel bad for their looks like you know if you're doing your best and you're trying your best or you're not whatever the circumstances are like people should just be loved for who they are and so with that being said um, I know for me personally sometimes I don't like photos of myself uh, because of the way that I look I get frustrated because I'm trying really hard to lose weight I'm trying really hard to be active but still I'm a little like chubs so I'm gonna show you guys how I go about getting my Instagram content how I feel confident in photos and just some of my little tips and tricks on how I make myself look skinty and photos so if you are interested in that just keep on watching and we'll give you some great tips and tricks and if you guys decide to try it for yourself uh, I would love to see the photos and see how they turned out okay Okay, so guys, here's what we're gonna do today. So I realize that not everybody is a professional photographer or has professional equipment. So if you don't have this equipment, that's totally okay. You can just use your iPhone. So today we're gonna be using a Canon Mark IV or 5D Mark IV. And then we're gonna be using an L series lens that is the 24 to 70. And the reason for that is because we are in a, an urban area, it's really tight space. So we want to make sure that we can get those wide angle views that we want. So that's the equipment that we're using. And then I'm going to walk you guys through what I'm going to do to make myself look Instagram ready. Stay still. This fabulous name is on your glasses. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. I may be a bit conceited. Okay guys, so it's a little bit windy and it's a little loud because we're kind of by traffic. But one of my first tips to make yourself look skinnier in photos is to kind of like stick your butt out is if I stand like this I'm kind of making myself look bigger but if I stand like this I'm kind of and kind of turn my body to the side I'm giving the illusion that I'm thin. so if you want to make yourself look skinny in photos stick, don't be afraid to stick that booty out and just kind of turn to the side a little bit so that's trick number one trick number two is to lean forward you can lean forward and look down and that will give the illusion that this is the first thing the camera sees, so everything else just looks a little bit skinnier. So tip number three is just to be confident. Be confident and own it. It's okay if you don't look perfect. Nobody's perfect in real life. So tip number four is turn to the side and put all your weight on the hip that's towards the wall. So put all your weight towards that wall and kind of lean forward a little bit. And like, don't think you can like move your head, look down, do whatever you need to do. But those are just kind of like some of the tips and tricks that I use to look thinner in photos. So here's what we're gonna do. Quay and I are gonna take some photos and then we're gonna insert them inside. So we're gonna start from tip one to tip four. So as you see the photo progression, you can just visually get an idea of how I like to make myself look thinner in Instagram content. So enjoy. All right, so whenever guys are taking pictures, um, basically the best thing you can do is listen to your wife, because um, that's what I do. I listen to Ellen, and she takes care of me. And there's an ambulance just rolling by us casually. Um, so Ellen's gonna actually tell you guys like what to do and what she helps me do to not look like so much of a goofball all the time in my pictures, because let's be honest, if I'm taking pictures on my own, this is like my best work. Uh. 
Okay, you guys, so I realize that not everybody out there is a professional photographer, and that's totally okay. You do not have to be a professional to um, feel confident in your photos and to look good. So one of the first things that you can do um, to feel confident in your photos is to listen to what somebody is telling you. Um, for me personally, I like to be told what to do. Um, what did you just say? Um, for me personally, I like to be told what to do. <laughs> well, that's a lie. And even though Quay is incredibly handsome. Great. Now I feel like a jerk. So anyway, so even though Quay is really handsome on his own, sometimes he does need a little bit direction to make the photo go from like okay to really good. So basically what I do for guys is I try to find things that are a little bit masculine. I try to find colors that are going to complement their skin tones. So we chose a gray wall because gray looks really good on Quay. And tip number one I would say is just find a good um, aesthetic that works for you. Tip number two is to always look to the side. I don't care who you are, in my opinion, I think it can look really cool and really sexy if a guy just like puts his hands in his pocket with his thumbs out so we know you have them and looks off to the side. I think it's really cool. I think it instantly can make you look GQ. Um, and I just really like that a lot. So then tip number three is to just be confident. Um, and don't be afraid to get creative. Like. Just because it's a wall doesn't mean that there's not texture to it or, um, you know, things that can make it interesting. So I'm going to insert a photo of Quay where he's looking down, but there's some texture on the wall. I feel like it looks really cool for him. Um, so that's tip number three. And then tip number four. Is have good posture. Because no one likes it. Okay, so who, who, is, who is giving these advice? Hey, that's a good, that's a good one. I mean, it's, it is pretty good because I do have to tell Quay quite a bit. I'm a like, slacker. Just, I'm a sloucher, like naturally, so. Um, and honestly and truly, I think the thing that makes any photo really great and really cool is just being yourself. So we're going to insert some photos um, of Quay and how we use these tips and how he embraced just who he is as a person to really make the photos come alive. <laughs> So we hope that these tips and tricks for girls and guys Instagrams is helpful to you and um, we would love to see if you use them and how it turns out. So feel free to tag us um, on our Quay and Ellen hashtag on Instagram and you can follow us on Instagram by looking up at Quay and Ellen. Pro tip, don't chew gum in your photos. Yes, I constantly have to tell Quay to just, like spit his gum out. <laughs> Blow a bubble. You were gonna try to blow a bubble and it I didn't work. Too. I was just showing my gum to the camera. Oh. This is Starbucks gum. If anyone's ever had gum from Starbucks, it's like it's really terrible. potent to kill your breath at the beginning because they know you'd be drinking that stanky coffee. <laughs> and then after that, it dies down and it's like chewing on a piece of rock. So, yeah. So, Kinda anyways. Blow a bubble with. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. We hope that you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you guys, what you think in the comments below and all that good stuff. So we hope everybody has a great one. Bye guys. <laughs>